Jay Byrne and Chrome Stadium, the site for the second annual East Preps game, an invite-only all-star football game that is put together for college athletes. Only the best All-American and All-Conference seniors play in the National Bowl game. It's right here in our backyard. Virginia Patochny has more. Collegiate football players from around the country gathered for a weekend of fun-filled events, practice, fellowship, and a chance to showcase their talents in front of many pro scouts. Division one, two, and three players from all over the country some as far as Colorado, Texas, and Arizona accepted the invitation for the East Preps All-Star Game. Several Lehigh Valley Steelhawks suited up for the outdoor game along with former Wilson standout quarterback DJ Lenahan, who led the Blue Nation team. The plan is just make it simple and be as simple as possible. You know, do a little bit of the uh, offense, a little bit of defense, not make it too complex. Just make it so we can come out here and have fun and, and um, perform well. Like most all-star games, there was a lot of scoring. The Red Nation will get on the board first. Thaddeus Everson from Southwest Baptist University scores from three yards out. We go to the second and the blue team will put up 10 unanswered. They start off with a St. Vincent kicker Chaz Jones hitting a 37-yard field goal. Minutes later, Lenahan, who finished his playing career at Seton Hill University, goes deep to Jordan Griffin of Glenville State. It takes it 75 yards into the end zone for the Blues' first lead of the contest. Red will go up going into the locker room with their first touchdown pass. It's a four-point game. Into the third with the score now 14-13 Red. Royal Johnson the third from the University of Arkansas Monticello intercepts Lenahan and takes it 35 yards down the sideline for the touchdown. On the ensuing kickoff, Akeem Figs, also of Glenville State, returns the kickoff for a long one. It goes 90 yards into the end zone. We enter the fourth, Red still up 21-20. But the blue team will make a comeback with time winding down and trailing by three. The buzzer goes off, Lenahan chucks it up for the last attempt. Jesse Hubbard in the back of the end zone makes the 10-yard catch. The Upper Iowa University receiver helps clinch the game for the blue team with no time on the clock. Final score, blue 33, red 31. Got to go in the end zone somehow. Somehow I was going to get in there and it just turned out the right way. I don't even know. It was a broken play and I just seen him throw the ball up, so I just tried to make a play on it and I did. It was the last chance to play football at this level, so it felt good to have the opportunity to play. It was a great opportunity. Got to thank eSports and National Bowl for giving us the opportunity. And that's all we can ask for as athletes, just one more time to play. It's a lot of fun. It's for the guys uh, to put themselves in front of other scouts and other um, teams to see if they can play at the professional level. And it's always nice to be able to, uh, to give back to these kids. After doubling in size from last year's first East Preps game, they expect to be back bigger and better next year for the third annual. If you would like more information about this event, you can go to their website at www.nationalbowlgame.com. On the scene at J. Bernie Crown, Regina Patochny, Two Sports. 33-31, well, you talk about the All-Stars from across the country, and a local guy throws the game-winning touchdown, not bad. Didn't have to sit on your couch to watch uh, nail-biting finishes right down to the That's wire. Right. Horn goes off when you're running the final play. Doesn't get much better than that. Not at all. That'll do it for tonight. For Mike Zambelli and everyone here at Service Ledger 2 Sports, I'm Al DiCarlo. Enjoy your Monday night. Good night.